This is 27-year-old Catherine D. Sullivan, receiving her Ph.D. degree in geology from Dalhousie University, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Catherine Dwyer Sullivan in geology. Catherine Dwyer Sullivan, by the authority vested in me by the Senate of Dalhousie University, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. And I congratulate you. Dr. Sullivan, Dr. Sullivan leaves us to go to NASA, the US Space Agency, to be one of the first women to enter the training course as an astronaut. And we wish you good success. Born in Patterson, New Jersey, She's one of 35 astronaut candidates in training to become a mission specialist on the space shuttle. As such, Kathy would be responsible for the experiments carried into orbit. Does she see an expanding role for women in space? I think so. Uh, my view of the space program's point right now is moving from a, a really a test flight stage to a general applications, a, a stage that will involve really all of mankind in directly in living in space, using space, and getting benefits from space technology. And I think it's just a natural expansion to include other segments of the population than test pilots. Kathy's specialty is Earth sciences, with marine geology and geophysics the subject of her doctoral research. While her decision to become an astronaut was a swift one, her exposure to the space program goes back several years. And my family background has had a lot of uh, aviation and space technology involved in it, with my father being an aerospace engineer and so forth. But I really didn't consider being an astronaut until I heard about the mission specialist uh, competition and looked into the duties and the qualifications for a mission specialist and found that the job really seemed perfect for me. It involved the right mix of science and engineering, of doing and researching, and it seemed very exciting and exactly the kind of job I wanted. Two men like nearly all the astronaut candidates, Kathy Sullivan receives frequent requests to talk about the space program. In this instance, before a group at the Bedford Institute of Oceanography in Halifax. For relaxation, Kathy enjoys a variety of sports, including cross-country skiing and racquetball. Here, she and fellow student Valerie Briscoe test their skills. But most of all, they're sailing. I think it's important for man to have frontiers and to be exploring and challenging himself to break out of former limitations and find new ways of doing things, new things to do, set new goals and strive for them. And the space program certainly does that and draws a, a lot of the best people in the world together doing that and the, the unity that it generates in that kind of enterprise I think is also a very good thing. My goals right now are just to get started on the shuttle training and uh, become an active contributing part of the program. I can think of a lot of benefits and opportunities in earth sciences for the shuttle program further down the line, but um, I think I have a lot of thinking to do about that too. Dr. Catherine Dwyer Sullivan, marine geologist, geophysicist, and astronaut candidate. Okay, here comes some. 